Hello, hello, hey, sweet people. Welcome to another episode of Inglês no Cruhaju. My name is Foster. Today, it is just me. You guys are stuck with me today. So, that's what we have. So, we're going to deal with it. Anyways, this month, as many of you already know, this month is Mental Health Awareness Month. And if you have listened to Inglês no Cruhaju for a long time, or a short amount of time, you probably know that Alexia and I talk about mental health a good bit. So we are trying our best to, to help the cause of stopping the stigma with mental health, bringing more awareness to mental health issues. And the only way we really know how to do that is talking about our own struggles and our own battles with mental health. So in the last episode that we did about mental health, I talked about anxiety, and Alexia asked me some relatively general questions about anxiety. I talked about my own experience, and today I wanted to talk about some resources, or more simply, some things that have helped me on my own journey with anxiety. And again, I have to say, I am not a doctor. I am not a medical professional. I am simply a podcaster who gets very anxious, like many of us do. So I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but I have struggled with anxiety for like at least a decade. So I think I have some things that maybe will be useful to other people. Anyways, when I think about resources to help with anxiety, I have this idea of the good list. So this is just kind of a list of things that I know in general are good for me. So if I'm having a bad day, I can kind of think of this list and think, hmm, have I done these things? Do I need to do something more? Or if I'm feeling very anxious and I'm feeling like, oh no, maybe I'm going to have a panic attack. I can look at this list and think, hmm, what can help in this moment right now? And it's super, super simple, but I think the, the basic idea, the framework is really useful. It's very helpful, at least for me. So anyway, here we go. This is my good list. These are just activities that I find very useful. Naturally, everyone's good list will look much different, but I think you, you will get the idea. So my good list, number one, these are not in order, but number one is physical activity. So at least in my case, I find that when I'm feeling anxious, when I'm feeling depressed, my normal tendency is not to move my body. My normal tendency is to sit inside in front of the computer being anxious. And naturally, that does not help. So if you can change your physical state, that kind of helps your mental state as well. So this doesn't have to be very intense. You don't have to run a marathon. But for example, most of my physical, <laughs> but for example, most of my physical activity nowadays is either walking, so walking our dog, walking with Buddy, which is excellent because Buddy is a very athletic dog. He's walking very fast. I get to go outside. I'm breathing fresh air. I'm seeing other people. And also I'm doing a lot of yoga and Pilates, which is something I just started recently because of back pain. But almost every time, 99% of the time, after I complete some physical activity, my mental and emotional state is automatically better. After exercising or going outside and doing something, I never think, Ugh, I wish I did not do that. Now I feel worse. So when you're anxious or if you just feel like maybe you're not having a great day, 
when in doubt, it's good to get out of your head and into your body. Okay, and number two on my personal good list. This is a big one. This is one that is super, super difficult for me, but it is sleep. So I think sleep is like the most important thing in the world that 90% of humans are not getting enough of. So we're not sleeping enough and we're not getting enough quality sleep. We're simply not taking sleep as seriously as we should. Um, we sleep for like 30, 40% of our lives. And this is a really difficult one, especially for people with anxiety, because most people with anxiety probably suffer from insomnia as well. So I don't have any perfect answers, but a few things that have really helped me with, with my sleeping habits. Number one is reading, reading before bed specifically. So in the past, I was almost always on my phone or listening to podcasts or something like that. But when I started reading, it just gave my time, it gave my, my body and my mind time to kind of decompress and relax. And reading is fun. It's good for you. Another thing that is a relatively recent addition to my good list is meditation. So I've been trying to meditate for like four or five years, pretty unsuccessfully, but I finally kind of figured out how to meditate, or at least I'm enjoying meditation more. Currently, I'm using an app called 10% Happier. We've talked about the book 10% Happier before, and they have a meditation app, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So even if you are not like a Buddhist or like a serious meditator, meditation, it's just a really good thing to give your mind, your body and soul a little break. Um, there's so much noise and life is so busy. So it's good to take a little break sometimes. So I think that's point number two really focus on sleep in general. When I find that I'm getting very anxious consistently, I'm also not sleeping well. So when I'm not sleeping well, I'm getting more anxious. When I'm anxious, I'm not sleeping well. So focusing more on sleep, it's always a good thing. And another very important point on my personal list of good things that help with anxiety are simply hobbies, things that I like to do, things that I actually enjoy. So one of the the worst things about anxiety for me personally and depression, um, it just kind of takes the joy and the pleasure out of life. So I think it's really, really important to take some time for yourself to do things that you actually enjoy, to do things you like. So for me personally, a lot of this has to do with music. So playing guitar, listening to music, a lot of times just walking. I love being outdoors. So just getting outside, that makes me feel really good. So sometimes when I'm walking, I decide, okay, I'm not going to listen to a podcast. I'm not going to try to run or improve my body in some way. I'm not going to try to be productive. I'm just going to walk outside, listen to some music, maybe stop listening to music and listen to the birds and the people just doing things that make you feel good. We all need more of that in our life for sure. And last but not least, the good list, the last item in the good list, at least for me, is support. Um, and this is a big one. So when I'm thinking about support, I'm thinking of friends, family, um, therapy, having conversations. And this is probably the biggest point and the most difficult point because these things are really hard to talk about. 
but in my own experience, I've found that when I talk about them, it always helps. Sometimes it's really hard, and in the moment, it will make me more anxious. But just realizing that you're not alone, that other people are also experiencing these things, that is so, so important. I think it's very healthy. I think it's fundamental to our nature as humans. And for me, therapy is a big part of that. I know that therapy is still quite stigmatized in many parts of the world. Therapy can still be very expensive. It's not super accessible to a lot of people, but if you have the chance to to do therapy, if you have the opportunity to talk to a real medical professional in a safe space, I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, guys, so I think that's it. So this is a super simple list of things. It's not a physical list. It's just something that I have in my head that I'm thinking, hmm, if I'm not feeling good, I probably need to do these things. I need to get some exercise, do some sort of physical activity. I need to focus on my sleep, and I need to really rely on my support group. So that's just me personally. Now our dog Buddy is going crazy, so I'm going to check on him. Ah, and I should add Buddy to the good list because he always makes me happy. So do you, sweet people. As always, keep up the good fight and lose well.